third term, the one perpendicular to x, z plane, has nothing because it's zero. They are all zero. So you can just neglect them. The last term is force. Force is WL delta x rho g cosine beta equal to zero. This is our equation. Then they can erase this. Okay? Any question? This is called um, shell balance. Can you solve this equation? No, not yet. This, the next step after you obtain this lengthy equation, you have to notice and determine which one can be dropped. First of all, let me ask you this. Do you think these two terms are equal? Are you sure? Are you sure that these two terms are equal? You're not. If you're not sure, keep it. Okay? Is these two terms equal? Are they equal? Yes. Why? Simply because we are determined we see here is not function of z. That means we see a z at any level of z supposed to be equal. Right? So these two terms are cancelled out. Simply because we see as z equal to L it e is equal to we see as z equal to zero. So they cancel out. How about these two terms? Are they equal? Pressure at z equal to zero is pressure at this point. Pressure at z equal to L is pressure at that point. Are they equal? To determine whether they are e equal or not, take a look at this picture. Fluid is flowing in this direction. Okay? Can you tell me what is pressure at this point? What is pressure at this red dot here? One ATM, atmospheric pressure. So this one is P0, or you can write down P ATM, right? Atmospheric pressure. If I write down the other spot here with the distance x, do you think that pressure here, let me call this one Px, Px1 maybe, is Px1 equal to P atm? No, why? Because you have a fluid sit in on top of it, right? So there is pressure exerting on this point according to the head of the fluid. So Px1 is greater than P of the atmospheric 
Okay? How much greater? Rho GH is associated with this depth, right? So the deeper the X, if I consider this point, the deep, the higher the pressure. Okay? Now, if I consider another point here, what is pressure of this point? Atmospheric pressure. Same. Because these two points are on the surface of water. How about if I consider equal depth? What is pressure of this point? Is it PX1? Yes, because the depth are equal. Okay? So this one is PX1 as well. Now, can you answer the question? Is pressure a function of Z? Is it function of Z? No, because along Z direction, as long as the X are the same, pressure remains the same. Okay? In that case, these two are equal and can be dropped. All right? So the equation here, if I divide the whole equation by W, L, these two terms can be dropped out. What you have left is tau x z at x. If I bring these two terms to the right hand side, okay, it will start by tau xz as x plus delta x minus tau xz at x equal to rho g cosine beta delta x. Right? Then I'm going to bring delta x here, divide it there. Why do I have to do that? Simply because if you take the limit, delta x approaching zero, that means I'm going to reduce the size of our shell to be indefinitely small. Remember, under our assumption, the velocity of fluid within the shell is supposed to be equal. It can be true only if the shell itself is so small. So by doing that, it means mathematically, I'm going to take the limit of delta x approaching zero. And by definition, what is this term? Differentiation, right? Differentiation of what? So it's turned to be tau d of tau xz by dx equal to rho g cosine beta. From this equation, if you integrate, you get tau xz equal to rho gx cosine beta, right? Is there anything wrong with this equation? Yes, something is missing. Constant is missing because we do integration without limit. So by doing that, you need to add one constant, integration constant. I'm going to say this equation is called equation one. Every time you do the problem in transport phenomena, you will usually end up with integration constant like this. So in order to determine the constant, 
you need to apply what we call boundary condition. So if you know tau at one specific location, then you can determine C1. Okay? Application of this kind of concept is called application of boundary constant, I, I mean boundary um, condition. In momentum, there are three main, three main kinds of boundary conditions. The first one 